ordeal of survival is over. The shadow of perpetual fear is gone. The nightmare of battle has ended. Peace has come again to Guam, to the Marianas, and arising from the ashes, new life. Japanese occupation, their loyalty never wavered. They knew the Americans would come back one day. The Americans have come. The day has come. gratitude does not forget liberty has its price freedom its cost but the work of war must still be done on Guam deep inside the boundaries of the Japanese Empire 1,000 miles forward from the last conquered base at any week talk Naval construction battalions, the sea bees, with marine and army engineers, take over from those whose job it was to destroy. Destruction gives way to construction, as fruits of American industry and the know-how of her men transform tropical Guam into a generator for victory in the Pacific. surging in, transforming the island into the most potent advanced base anywhere in the world. Guam becomes the Pacific supermarket, where the tools of war are stocked. Thank you. 
from Guam, Admiral Nimitz directs the naval strategy for the final phase of war in the Far East. Pearl Harbor, the traditional headquarters of the United States Pacific Fleet, is now a remote rear area. But Nimitz's new base is equidistant from two major Allied objectives. Tokyo, 1,600 miles north. Manila, 1,500 miles west. Everything needed to conquer the one and liberate the other has been furnished in abundance, and overabundance, and superabundance, by workers and factories 10,000 miles back across the vast reaches of the Pacific in continental United States. But here it all is. Detroit is here, and Birmingham is here. Pittsburgh is here, and so is Seattle. The wealth of American skill and American labor is stored and stacked and ready here on Guam, here in the Marianas. against Japan itself. That is what Nimitz's strategic directive called for in the Marianas. On Guam, on Saipan, on Tinian, the bases have been established. The mission has been accomplished. Now the B-29s take off. Take off for Tokyo. Take off for victory.